Hello, and um, thank, you, thank you for having me here today and inviting me along um, to be part of this event. Um, I'm, we're, um, we're delighted to be here at Edge Hill, actually. We've um, been uh, working with, with Edge Hill for a short time um, around food, and so I'm going to tell you a little bit more about that later on. Um, but first of all, I've, I've got 15 minutes to tell you about the Food for Life partnership, and, um, and then I'm going to be followed by a school that's involved in the Food for Life partnership, uh, Willow Lane Primary School. So um, I'm going to try not to run over, so you've got plenty of time to hear from the school and hear about um, the real programme in, in action. So um, we've heard uh, quite a lot this morning about the, the great need for change um, from Tom and, and from Linda just, just now. Um, and I think what, what is ex exciting, and um, you, you just talked about this as well, Linda, is that there are lots of fantastic examples of good practice out there. And there are opportunities to do a lot more around sustainable foods. Um, this, this event was, was oversubscribed, so we, we know that there are people and organisations um, across Lancashire who want to do more and, there is, uh, and want to put these actions in, into, into place. So, the Food for Life partnership, um, I might just ask uh, for a, a quick show of hands. Who, who's familiar with the Food for Life partnership? Other people? Oh, quite a lot. That's, <laughs> that's great to see. Okay, well, that, that's good, so I don't have to start from the very beginning. <laughs> um, so, the Food for Life partnership is a, a, a complex uh, initiative work that works with schools and caterers on changing food culture. Uh, the the programme... Uh, this, uh, this slide gives you a little bit more of information about how, how the Food for Life partnership works. So the programme is a holistic approach to, to changing food culture. We work with schools and their caterers on where the food is sourced from for the school meals. We work with caterers to provide more, more fresh, freshly prepared meals at lunchtime, more ethically sourced food. And we want to work with schools to improve the overall lunchtime experience, the dining experience. The programme is also about education. We focus on uh, cooking, practical cooking skills, practical food growing skills. We work with schools on using farms for educational visits, really uh, looking at where, where food comes from as part of the curriculum. Giving pupils a voice through, through food is, is also a key part of the Food for Life partnership. So we encourage schools to have a school nutrition action group um, or another group which, which gives pupils and caterers and others in school the chance to, to talk about food and make food improvements um, throughout the whole setting. And the Food for Life partnership really would want more parents to engage um, in food in schools and, uh, and share it, the, the good food at school with the local community. The Food for Life Catering Mark Award is a sister award of, of the Food for Life Partnership and has been developed out of the Food for Life Partnership with school, working with school meal caterers. This award is um, an, an independently inspected uh, award that any caterer can apply for. And we, we work to a bronze, silver and, and gold standard, encouraging more freshly prepared seasonal produce on menus meat that's from British welfare and, and high standard farms. And th through the time that the Food for Life catering mark has been in practice, there's been uh, thousands of schools engaged, thousands and school meal caterers, and over 700,000 meals, catering mark meal, sc school meals are served every, every day. And we're delighted that Ed Edge Hill, uh, our catering team, are working on the Food for Life catering mark award. Um, at the moment. So, um, Food for Life Partnership, it's, um, it's a programme that's it's not just about nutrition or, or just about uh, cooking or, or catering. It's a programme that's about all of these things along with, with education and along with sustainability as well. A little bit of background about Food for Life. There are five partner charities uh, in the Food for Life Partnership. Uh, the Soil Association, Garden Organic, Health Education Trust, Focus on Food and the Royal Society for Public Health. The way that Food for Life Partnership works with schools is through an awards scheme at bronze, silver and, and gold level. 
There are 4, 000, over 4,000 schools already enrolled in the programme across England, and that's growing all, all the time. And we, the way the programme works is to give schools step-by-step step step changes uh, to work towards improved food culture. And we've just, heard, we've just heard all about the school food plan. And so I just wanted to, to reiterate the, this fantastic opportunity that we have through the school food plan. And um, I, won't, I won't go into detail, as you've, you've heard of all about it from Linda just before. Okay, I just, uh, I'm just now going to give you a little bit more information about the impact that the Food for Life Partnership programme has had in, in schools. Um, the Food for Life Partnership was evaluated over three years by the University of the West of England and Cardiff University, and additional studies were done by the New Economics Foundation, um, the NFER, the National Foundation for Educational Research, and the University of Bath, the Cree Centre at the University of Bath. Here are some of the, the key impacts of the Food for Life Partnership programme in schools. So as you can see, some of the key figures. Um, one of the key impacts was that 45% of parents were, uh, be, uh, reported eating more vegetables as a result of the Food for Life Partnership programme in their child's school. So the programme, is, the opportunities that we have through working with schools really demonstrates that we can have an impact on whole families through the work, work in schools. I'm just going to go through those in a little bit more, more detail. So Food for Life Partnership, the eva evaluation has shown an increase in, in free school meal take-up. And so this refers to the children entitled to free school meals that aren't actually taking up their free school meal. And the, the schools working on Food for Life saw an increase of 13 percentage points on average. In, the, in that free school meal take-up. And as we heard earlier, earlier this morning, that's, that's incred incredibly important that we are enabling the children entitled to free school meals to actually take their, their school meal. In addition, overall school meal take-up increased in Food for Life Partnership schools by 3.7% in year one and 5% um, after two years. And th this, these figures were looked at at a point in time when school meal take-up was, was decreasing. Food for Life partnerships also seen changes in fruit and veg uptake um, by children, so an increase in uh, five a day, as you can see, went up to 21%, um, uh, went up five percentage points to 21% in Food for Life partnership schools. The New Economics Foundation looked at the impact of the Food for Life partnership changes to school meal catering on, um, on social return and what that, that change might mean in, in terms of uh, value in local <coughs> economic opportunities. And for every pound invested in Food for Life partnership menus, uh, and this study was done in Nottinghamshire and Plymouth uh, in their school meal services, there was a return of over three pound in value to the local economy and society. And this really does demonstrate the, the power that public sector food procurement can have on local economy. And as you can see on, uh, on the slide here, most of that value was in, in opportunities um, associated with em employment and job security. These are some quotes from one of the Food for Life Partnership Evaluation reports, and they're really demonstrating that even though there are a lot of statistics we can talk about around the benefits of, of better food and food growing at school and practical cooking at skill, there are also a lot of emotional health and well-being impacts, um, which I'm sure we can assume, but the, uh, if we talk to head teachers and, and teachers in school working with children, doing more practical cooking, practical food growing, these are the, the kinds of reports we hear back. And there really is an impact in, in engaging children within school in these practical activities. The evaluation team uh, pointed out uh, that the, the participation in cooking and growing food and the, the, the more practical activities was significantly associated with changes in healthy eating. So this emphasises the importance of those, those um, practical activities in school. Okay, some quotes for you 
from schools. The Food for Life Partnership programme is, uh, works on a commission basis and there are 10 local authorities across England that have commissioned Food for Life Partnership um, to implement work in, in their schools and these areas are listed, listed here, Lincolnshire, Calderdale, Devon, Bath and North East Somerset, Warwickshire, Kirklees, Cornwall, Derbyshire, Cambridgeshire and Leicestershire. So quite a lot of areas across, across England that are, are working closely with, with Food for Life Partnership and any school in England can em engage with Food for Life um, and it's, uh, it's free to enrol and schools can go on to the Food for Life website and use the resources and information and, and network with other schools. Food for Life Partnership uh, has been very fortunate to be receive more further big lottery funding and this is supporting us to develop the Food for Life approach into, into other settings. So the, the importance of shifting this food, the food culture across, uh, across settings is, it shouldn't be underestimated. I'll just pick out a couple, a couple of points here, uh, particularly hospitals. Um, so the NHS serves around 300 million meals per year to patients. And that doesn't include staff and visitor food. So there is an incredible impact we can have through changing the food that is served, served in hospit hospitals. And as I'm sure we'd all, we'd all agree, appetising, healthy and freshly prepared food should be the norm in hospitals. And I will also mention universities, as we are here in, in a university today. The university environment does provide the ideal opportunity to develop other food-related skills, such as growing and cooking, and, uh, and develop a, a positive food culture while students are at, at university. There are thousands of meals already served catering mark standards at 30 universities across um, the UK every day um, and that, that's growing all the time. So um, as I mentioned earlier, we're, we're delighted that this event is here at Edge Hill today and we're able to um, be thinking about the university's approach to, to good food culture today. So in, in summary, that's a very quick whistle-stop tour of the Food for Life partnership. Um, but most importantly, I'm going to pass over to a school now, um, Willow Lane Primary School, um, where you can hear a little bit more about Food for Life partnership in practice. So thank you.